Hello, and we are back for episode number two of the classic NASCAR painting. Uh, so last time we worked on Ken Schrader's number 49 uh, BAM Racing version one. And I didn't actually show a picture of the completed project, so I will go to that now and we can just check that out real quick. Uh, so that's what it came out looking like in sim. So pretty happy with that. And uh, today we are going to move on. And this one is going to be the uh, zero 01. Now it's not the army car because that one's already been made. We're actually going to make the USG sheetrock car. So let's get a picture of that pulled up here. And, well, let's see here. The pictures that we have are pretty bad, as I recall. But, let's see what we get here. All right, so that's it. Um, you know, one thing is, uh, you'll notice that the shading uh, different cars, you know, different lights are going to make cars look really different when you're trying to figure out what exactly color that actually is. So obviously this a night shot looks a lot darker than this one here. It looks quite a bit more medium blue, I'd say. Uh, this is the layout that they gave. So that's kind of the, you know, what you might expect it to look like. Um, and that's a die cast, which... Almost, almost never use diecast because they're so inaccurate. Almost never like the real thing. So we can see that there. But these are some some pretty crappy pictures. Uh, but so let's check out motorsport images and uh, let's see if we can f just search uh, USG two thousand three. Okay, so we come up with with Boris said. Um, so we'll look up Sirius at the Glen 2003 and uh, see if we can come up with anything that, no, nothing, nothing like what we're looking for here. Uh, let's see if we can come up with something about Boris said. There's one. So that looks like a pretty good picture, pretty, pretty decent one. Let's see if there's any others. Uh, kind of the same shot there. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like we get two actual pictures of this, and these are very similar. Um, so, okay, uh, let's see if we can find any at Getty. Yeah, unfortunately, we only get an army car picture there. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so let's go with this. Make sure I didn't miss any. Alright. Uh, so with what we got, I think we're going to be able to do this here. Um, Alright, so the other thing is I went ahead and I have Jerry Nadeau uh, made here. I actually made the army car. Uh, and I just went ahead and cleared this out of all the army stuff that I didn't think I would need. Uh, I was able to save some of it. So like our B pillars should be pretty much we got an American flag there, army and then USG 
so yeah so it looks like that's the same um, and then I'm gonna actually open up another project that I had which was um, we did a Matt Kenseth 2005 car 2005 USG sheetrock and so we should be able to use some of our assets I think from that which always helps speed up the process a little bit so we can see the sheetrock brand uh, is kinda in the same spot so we'll actually <coughs> let's go ahead and drag that on over uh, what does it look like on the hood very similar there as well um, the thing is they've got like an outline on this with some red and some black and things so that is kind of interesting I don't think yeah you can see it there on the car um, they definitely did do that here so I do not have that on this one I've got so we'll have to we'll have to recreate that but all right, so um, hood decals. Oh, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Now we do have some numbers here that are wrong for what we're trying to do, but we can come back to that uh, in a little bit. So. Hmm. We'll actually just use the body. Okay, so we'll just drag our hood decals. Uh, and so you, this is something that you kind of could pay attention to. So last episode, I showed that when you select a group, it's got this box outline of, of where it is. And what we'll see here is that it's offset. If I were to drag this over directly to this car, it wouldn't really be in quite the same spot. Uh, but what you can do when that happens is if you take your layer and then you crop it to content, okay, you can't layer to image a layer group. So we'll try it. We can go layer, layer to image. It doesn't work, okay? But if you go inside there, you just need one out of your group to be layered to image. And then when you select it, it's going to take the largest one you've got. So that works then to drag the whole layer group and plop it in. It's going to be right in the middle there. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then let's also go ahead and get the sheetrock stuff here. So we've got sheetrock brand on the right. Now same thing. We're, we're too small. If we just drug this over... I'll show you how it looks and drop it in. It's going to drop it right in the middle. But I actually don't want that because I can make it to where it drops right in the spot that I want it to be. So layer to image. And then I'll just drag the whole thing on over. Dump it in there. Goes in nicely. And then one more time, we're going to do the same thing on this one. And we'll do layer to image. Drop that in. There we go. <clears throat> now I'm obviously making an assumption that everything is in the exact same spot on this car as it was on the Kenseth car, which is probably a bad assumption to make. Um, we try not to make those assumptions because <laughs> a lot of times you're wrong. So let's... Uh, Let's see if there's anything else that we think we would maybe need. I don't think so. I think that's the only real similarity. So then we'll close this. No, we don't need to save anything there. But we get a little bit of a head start, which is cool. Um, you know what? One thing I can do. One thing I can take from that. Let's open that back up real quick. is I want to use the red that I had. 
Um, so the red here, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on because it kind of got tore up. Oh, I see. So they they had kind of a they've got these these uh, swishes, I guess, and it's got that there. But that's fine. We can recreate that pretty easily. Um, but let's go ahead and we'll go to our eyedropper and we'll grab that red and then here even though I'll probably eventually move this down actually I may not though because the, this is a little different setup it's not really I would say I would consider that red to be part of the decal you know not part so much of the scheme whereas on the Kenseth car uh, I consider that more part of the scheme because of the way they integrated it into this. So, uh, but on this car, we're going to consider it part of the decal. So we'll actually go to the hood decals and we'll select that sheetrock part. Uh, and I don't know why it's looking like that. Let's just crop that to content here. And then we'll crop this to content. To crop content as well because actually I think I'm going to want this a little bit higher up maybe or in a different spot or maybe the sheetrock needs to be a little probably a little lower and a little smaller maybe um, actually you know what I'm noticing is they actually said sheetrock brand and if we look at the real car yeah it does so you know what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that sheetrock there. And we're going to take it from the from the uh, right here. So we'll duplicate this. And then we'll actually put it in there. And we'll chain that together so we can drag it easily and transform we're going to rotate rotate this counterclockwise 90 degrees and we'll put it right there and then take those chains back off so on this um, let's try and get this size down so let's see usg on the hood goes to about the pin so we're going to need to kind of figure out where we are here so let's go ahead and get iRacing opened up. And we'll see if we can't figure out what the size of this should be. Mm -hmm. we'll wait on this for a moment. Okay. My content. Arca car. View car. Paint car. There we go. And so once again, we're going to need to export. So let's go ahead and export as recently used stock cars to Chevy. And we want to go to car num. And like before, um, I kind of put this in there by default. It's car. Uh, if you're doing a, a custom number, you need car num. If you're using a SIM stamp number, you don't put the num. You just put car underscore. And it's your iRacing ID, whatever that may be. Uh, you can find that out in your account settings in uh, on iRacing. Um, there's, there's a million different ways to find that, but uh, you just need to know what it is. So when I delete that, then I get to export it straight away. Saves me a little typing. Okay, and then as soon as you do it, it's going to plop on there. Um, so just looking at this, uh, the way it was on the Kenseth car, it was tucked right against the cowl. When I look at it here, looks like it's pretty high up there again. Um, see if we got any other indicators of where that is. I would say it's pretty pretty high up there. Um, yeah, they've got it right against Cal as well. So that's fine. 
Um, I'd love to be able to use these hood pins as references, but these, again, these are slightly different body styles and, and things. Uh, so you can't really quite say, oh, well, it's in line with those, therefore it's okay. You know, it, it's a guide, but it's not a great guide. So, you know, but I'd say based on where I'm seeing, you know, we'll try and maybe use the headlights a little bit as, as kind of a, you know, a guide. I'd say we're pretty good right there. I'm pretty happy with where it's located. Uh, the one thing is we're going to have to take into account that we're going to make this logo a little bit bigger because we're going to add a black and a reddish outline to it. And then looking at that, you know, it looks like it's it's a, just maybe a tad wider than the actual USG. So when we shrink this down, let's see how, if I go to... Uh, scale the layer of the USG we can find out the height is 379 and we're gonna want a little bit shorter on that sheetrock because we want that to be going to about center of that U for the S and the R is gonna end about center of the G okay so let's go ahead and scale this and let's make it height of I like always like to set no halo Height of uh, 300. All right, and a little short actually. See the K probably a little short, so undo. Don't don't ever uh, shrink it down and then scale it back up. Always undo it and then redo it because you're losing some some fidelity doing that upscaling. So better than to just redo it. All right, this time we tried 320, and we could bring it up a bit. Um, and I'm actually going to make it uh, about 310. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good right there. Uh, and then how far down? This is pretty close to the pins. Which again, we can't really use. See, the pins just aren't in any kind of, you know, they're kind of higher up and whatnot. But I think we could come down a little bit more spacing between them. Let's go right there. Let's export that. Yeah, that's that's pretty good right there. Um, and brand, you know, stops about there. I, I think that's fine. Okay, so uh, the next thing we're going to do, why don't we see if we can't get, you know, we'll use this. We're going to use this color. So let's go ahead and save this image. And we're going to go into Jerry Nadu logos. And save that. Uh, Jerry Nadu, there he is. And let's open this with our GIMP program. All right. And then we can actually eyedropper this blue. Try and find a nice spot of it. Yeah, okay, that's good. And we can close this down. And let's go ahead and set our back, our main car body here for that that blue. So fill bucket. Okay, cool. So there's that. And I'm also going to make, see I didn't, uh, when I just have a single car, like the, the army car's black. Um, well, I probably, actually I deleted the old schemes because it did have stuff on it, but Let's go new layer group and let's call this scheme. And let's just put that in there. So, all right, we're going to go back into our hood decals. And again, this sheetrock part here. And we're going to just actually create a new layer. We're going to call this S Rock Red. And it's going to be at the bottom of this group. And. We're going to do it this way. Let's 
well, let's uh, kind of figure we want to make it just a little bit taller than the, the lettering so not right on it but a little bit taller and we're going to take it right about to the end of that G a little bit further even because when we expand the other one out we're going to end up cutting this down and messing with it anyway actually so it's not going to matter that much um, I would like to make sure that it's kind of centered between here um, let's make sure it's an even number really is all we need to do so our size is 48 which should be fine uh, actually we can go here let's grab the red off of this and eyedropper we'll use that it's kind of a orangey red let's make sure it's there we go okay and that looks pretty good so we'll leave that for now uh, and part of the reason to do that right now is just because I want I want that red in here um, kind of get started okay now we know the numbers are different on the USG car so we can see that they're uh, white black red and I believe we got that number saved so let's see if we can find it here and we want to go to numbers and it's this one and again thanks to the guys at Big Evil for making these it makes it makes our job a lot easier I'm gonna turn off the background there uh, so this is one of those cars where it's actually different from left to right because of the way they slant the numbers um, they they slant always back uh, if you look at the car uh, they're they're slanted back on both sides so because of that you need a different uh, you need different numbers for for each side they're you know so you could actually just skew it I guess if you if you ever wanted to make your own number and you want that look you can use the skew tool um, and you could could just kind of skew it both directions wouldn't matter really um, but uh, they've got it set up for us to where we don't have to do that so it's a lot easier and uh, let's start with the left because we can do the roof at the same time and for this so we want red as our background here and we're just gonna colorize it to our red uh, we'll notice again that the, the colors off so we want that definitely darker Uh, you know what I'm going to do here is just to make sure we're consistent. I'm going to drag this whole thing on over. Okay. And then uh, I can do it right next to, right on top of our current red that we're working with. That way I can make sure the blend is really nice. The only thing about colorizing is ever so often, like I said, you get this this situation where um, it, it's too light or too dark. Um, so then you, you kind of have to get it corrected. And, and usually, you know, you're not trying to be necessarily that perfect, but sometimes you are, especially when you're trying to match something. So we want to make sure we get it right. So let's, once again, we're going to colorize this and use that okay and set it to zero and go down by tenths pretty close pretty close um say even a little darker that's a little too dark so negative 0.45 pretty much indiscernible there so we'll take that so negative 0.45 is the number we need to remember that because um, when we 
make our right side number, we'll have to, to use that again. All right, so let's drag this one on over. And that's all there is to that one. So what we can do now is uh, duplicate. Let's find our, first of all, let's find our numbers. Uh, we're going to drag this up into numbers. There we go. Left uh, USG. Okay. Uh, and actually, I want it to be roof first. And we can go ahead and layer, transform, rotate 180. And then we're going to duplicate this before. Well, we don't have to. Well, let's do it. Let's actually do it. Duplicate. And then this one will be left USG. And we're going to move it right on over here. All right. So it doesn't really matter which one we do first. Let's see what the original. Uh, that's the right one. I've got them reversed on my thing here. Um, so if we go to layer and scale, we are at 244 height, 275 width. So let's 244 height, 275 width. There we go. All right. So we'll scale that down. And then, uh, and fortunately, you see, we get to cheat a little bit here because we've already made this. And it's the same. So just a little saving, saving a little time. That's all. And then we can just get rid of that one. Okay, roof is going to be the same thing. So let's see what our old roof was. Always make sure you're cropped to content. And it is 420 by 372. So once again, scale. 420, 372, there it is, done. Okay, and we'll just plop it into place here. Okay, cool. And we'll make the roof go away. All right, and then lastly, uh, we need to get our other side here. So let's go ahead and drag that on in here. Remember when you drop these in, they drop in right on top of this picture not over in here doesn't work in there uh, all right and let's go ahead and select our yellow colorize and then we want to make it that uh, but we want to make it negative 0.45 done and then we can just uh, double check our Our original number size, which is 383, 244, 383, which is, it seems like, is that different? Left or right? I don't want that to be different left or right. 275, 244, weird. Why would that be different? 383. Uh, oh, it's beca okay, so again, this is why you always crop the content. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's scale it, 280, okay, 280, 244, uh, this is, I don't, again, don't know why I would have it different, but uh, 244 seems to be the height, so do that, it's fine, okay. And then we can just drag that on down. Be fine. Okay. Uh, and then we can turn that off. Okay. So we're getting a good start here. All right. And then uh, we've got a. Uh, we can do go ahead and do our red here on the scheme. No reason not to do that. So let's knock that out first. 
I want to see something. Okay. So again, this is why this is why you always got to be really careful with using this kind of thing because this isn't the real car. So we see the white Goodyear here, but the car always has yellow, right? So we want to be really accurate. We want to make sure we've got the right stuff. And if we want the right stuff, we need yellow Goodyears. So, uh, so we will use this more than not, you know. But again, this is a, uh, unfortunately, this is kind of an uncommon car. You know, we're doing secondaries now. So if we're doing primaries, there's always, I mean, there's a million pictures of that army car uh, there. But this particular one, there's, this only ran in, you know, three or four races or something. So not super common and, and therefore not a ton of pictures of it. So we got to keep that in mind when we do this. But uh, and also something else interesting about this car is being a road course a little different. So this this is what we'll use as our guide for our front, our red up here when we put that in there. And in fact, I um, I wonder why that's black like that. Is that like that on? Not like that on that. I guess it's just a tape thing. Like when they taped the valence, they were did something different with it. We're not going to keep that black in there. We'll just have it be red because that's uh, an option at least. So, all right. And I can't see that well enough to really know what's going on there. It does not look intentional. <laughs> uh, but maybe it is. You know, it's hard to tell. You know, these cars go through a bit of a, um, you know, there's differences. Like I said, that's a good, a perfect example of sometimes the same car has little differences, and then you gotta, gotta pick and choose. Well, what's important and what what is the makes the most sense? You know, um, I think having this little black here will just kind of look weird, to be honest. Um, I mean, it kind of is okay here, but this this looks better to me. So I'm going to to go with what that one was, and they didn't have it in their original plans, clearly, for this car. So, all right, so let's go ahead and, um, something else I'm noticing. There's no, hmm, we could use those, but let's, you know what we're gonna do, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go back to my Uh, I'm going to go back to my Matt Kenseth scheme because I need to borrow. Uh, no, I don't want to use that one actually. Let's go to the uh, 03. And we're going to take it off this car here. Okay, and so I want the I want this. Okay, we'll just go put that up here under that. And I also want the I want the tape. Um, which I gotta find, so bear with me here. That's not it. Nose tape. There we go. Right above it. Blind. Didn't see it. Okay. Let's put that in there too. Okay. Uh, so that was something that I I had made, although it's being, oh, yeah, all right, let's uh, we'll get rid of that. Okay, so 
So in this car, we're probably going to end up colorizing that nose tape to look like something. So when we do this, it'll have a we'll have a color to it. So here's a little start to our our USG car. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and we're going to go ahead and make the the red here at the front. One thing we can notice is that on this car it runs right through the center of our Grand Prix there. Um, on the drawing it's going below it. On this one it's sort of not, part, you can't really see it because they covered it with stuff, but I'm going to say it went right through the middle because that's what it looks like it was trying to do. So we need to go and to our main car body, easiest way to do this is we're going to layer and new layer and we'll call this red okay um, and then let's just see if we fill this in here and you notice I don't have to be like really exact with this because it only matters what gets seen in the end product so none of that matters as long as we're not bleeding over. Okay, and then let's export. Cool. And I am just fine with that. Okay. Um, if we decide we need to bring it up a little bit, and we may, we just don't know yet because, uh, like when I look at the side of this, you know, if we decide that we're not tall enough here or something, we could always bring it up a little bit. And we'll figure that out when the time comes. Um, and I'm just looking at that too. And so I think it's supposed to. Yeah, it stops a little short there. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, could go ahead and. and do that too. It does have this white on the back too and I notice the spoiler has its own blue on it which is pretty well how that worked. So it uh, gets a little tricky to do the white like this because uh, you really got to make sure that matches up so we'll do that a little later. But Let's go ahead and do our red here. You know what the easiest way to do this is going to be actually, let's go ahead and just take our red and decide how tall. Uh, we get a good side, so yeah. I kind of got a little different layout there maybe do they well, let's see how they've got it set up before we start doing this so we've got Winston Bud McDonald's mechanics autometer Winston Bud McDonald's mechanics autometer that's correct USG Outback Holly Goodyear Infogrames Jessel EA and this one has MBNA down below that's the difference. So we'll take MBNA and just stick it down here. And where exactly? Kind of in line with Jessel. Okay, like that. Ah. And Mac. Okay, that all looks correct. Yeah, everything there looks pretty good. Okay, and then we're going to kind of make the assumption that the other side's the same, although we can look here. It's hard to tell. Yeah, see this one. So again, a sign of a, a different car. So they put MBNA up at the top, like the other side. You know what? Um, I'm actually gonna leave it where it was. I'm gonna undo everything I just did because I think it looks. It'll be more consistent there with what we already have on the other car. There's no reason to really change that. So let's go ahead and fill that in. Uh, and then it's going right through Jessel and EA. 
on that side. But in the interest of keeping it the same height side to side, we're going to just do it like this. We'll copy, paste, drag that up, and then we'll just make it like really close there. So that should be like pretty close on how it is when we export it. And that's pretty close there. We may go ahead and make that just a hair taller. I think so. So let's just add a few more pixels to it. Cool. There we go. And let's export that. Okay, now it's it's pretty even between there, which I think we're going to want because the way this kind of looks is supposed to sort of mirror back and forth a little bit, so we want it to be pretty close. Not have to be exactly on, it's not there, but pretty close. Okay. And then let's go ahead and fill in the red up top. So it goes right along the top of the door, back along the bottom of the quarter, all the way to the back, and then it's going to do this kind of cutout thing. But we actually don't care about that right now. We're not worried about that. We just want to make it a nice straight line. And again, we want to make sure it starts. So I think it starts right at the top of the... Yeah, right at the top of like the zero. And in this case, right at the top of the one, I think. Like it's going to... Yeah. So let's let's see if we can't bring that on back there. And we're going to bring it down a bit. Okay. Um, now, looking at the car. So, so this is another case of the car being a little different than, you know, what we've got. Ours, ours kind of, see, these are a little like straighter across the way they built them. Ours are kind of built like nose down, tail up. So uh, this is always a little tricky here. So we got to use a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, you know, creative liberty with this. So let's see. And how low does it go on sheetrock? Uh, it should be, yeah, it goes kind of down through the, yeah, down through there a little bit. So we're going to want to take that, well, maybe just down just a little more. Where is it in line with the tail light? Now oh, the tail light on the car is <laughs> a lot lower. Okay, so the other question is, do they... They've only barely got it cutting off the R there. And kind of thinking like they had it a little further. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and let's just let's fill this in and see what we think about it. So we know it's going to look a little weird. Um, so I think we can actually cut that top of that down a bit, which we're going to want to do. Um, let's turn on our wire. Undo that wire. Okay, and let's bring this down as low as is reasonable. I think that's... 
pretty good, so let's try and fill that. Okay, take the wire off and export. And I'm okay with that. Um, I'm okay with that because I think the I think that the real car kind of had that going on on that other side there, you know. So that's okay. Like I said, it's it's a, a road course car, you know. Road course cars are not going to be built like a speedway car, so you can expect slight differences and also just the way they shape things. So that's okay. All right. So that looks pretty good there. Now the question is here: Do we want to keep it? You know, I feel like it's it's up a little bit there in the back, but it, it really kind of does. But like on this car, it kind of flattens out. So we have two options here. We can either just take the quarter panel and try and carry that up, or we can just shorten up this side. like this and see what we think that looks like and regardless we're gonna have to fill in a little bit there just to get it to although if we keep shorting it, it we may not have to so what we could do is turn on our wire and just take it to like right there and then let's see what that looks like that's pretty good it's pretty reasonable yeah I would almost say that maybe we just go ahead and just shorten it a bit completely across because it's still going to have that bit of a curvature look to it where it's meeting up at the corner and but then again if we do that that's gonna look well we'd have to shorten it like way back here almost I don't think that's gonna look right Well, maybe it can. Let's let's just see what happens here. It's like a lot of this is just always kind of trial and error. So if we took it from like right there, was actually higher up than what we already had. So not doing anything. So no, no, I would say <laughs> I'm gonna say well if we take it. So it depends on what that line does. So let's just see if we just took that. We're just getting one pixel out. And see if it makes a blue at the top there anywhere. Yeah. yeah it's a little bit shorter. We'll probably go in like. We can either leave it or we can try and just like put a, a little red right on that C pillar where it kind of rolls up there to see if we can't straighten it but you know different angles are going to look different so might not even be worth doing so and then we could also take it off of there which if we do that might look a little better actually there's really no reason to to have to keep it uh, Off that wire, export. Yeah, and that looks fine, honestly. Taking it off of there, there's really no advantage to having it on there. I don't think it's kind of a 
kind of keeps it straighter throughout. So I'm fine with that. Okay, so then we got to do the same thing here on this other side. So let's go over to that and let's put in some red here. So on this one, it's top of the zero back. All right. A little bit low. Let's go ahead and take it just right there. Yeah, top of the front. Yep, yeah, there we go. So we'll just go ahead and do a fill on that. And then let's export that and see what that looks like. Um, and it's just kind of tall looking, I feel like. Like we want to shorten that down again. So let's go ahead and turn on our wire. Let's take it from like right there. See if we just take that off. Take off the wire and export it. And what do we get? Yeah, I think that looks a little closer to what they we're going for with theirs. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, getting somewhere here. All right, uh, before we start on the white, let's go ahead and make sure we've got our logos in place. So we should have a US Army logo, which I uh, rather dumbly deleted from this. <laughs> <laughs> so let's grab it from the old army that I had. <clears throat> and then we actually, we need this as well, which I think I have. So let's see, let's open the this one here. Yeah, see, we could have just used these, but oh well. I have to correct this car. I forgot about that. I'll do that later. Okay. Drag this on over. Okay. Crop to content. All right, and we gotta put that up here in, in the scheme. Put it above all these things. And <clears throat> we will move it on over here. And what size do we think that should be? Goes kind of from the front to mm, right at the tail light. This goes pretty far back, so let's scale it to we're at 500. Let's go to 350. Mm, probably a little wide still. So let's make it 300. Looks pretty close there. Let's export that. Yeah, a little too close to the quarter there. It actually probably goes a little bit into that taillight, so that's probably fine. That's probably really pretty close to what they had. Uh, might bring it up just a hair. Well, no, I don't think so. It's we always have to, this to contend with. Ours is has a sharper angle on our our quarter panels. A lot of the o older cars, O3s, they're kind of like flatter here, or they might have just a very slight incline. We've got a steep one, so we have to deal with that. Um, so I'm gonna leave that there for now. I think that's fine. Let's duplicate that. We'll rename it. R, 
select drag it down here and we will right click and layer transform and we're going to rotate 180 so now we've got it on this side and I doubt we can see it on the cars here and eh, we kind of can but it's it's basically the same so let's go ahead and export make sure that spacing is about where we want it's pretty good okay <clears throat> so uh, from here there's some some white layer to put on but before we can do any of that actually we're gonna have to fix up our USG hood logo uh, so I'll show you how how I'll do that so let's go to that in our last episode we uh, basically we had to do something kind of similar with the the BAM racing logo although it took a lot longer or you don't want that to take nearly this long this time this should be hopefully straightforward so we're gonna go to our hood decals USG white uh, first thing I want to do is I want to take this layer and make it to image we're not gonna use it but sometimes it just makes it a little easier uh, and then we're gonna make a new layer and we're gonna call this USG uh, black and I need to look at it again actually yeah black and then red okay and then we're gonna make another new layer and we're gonna call it USG red uh, now we want to make sure we order these layers correctly so the whites actually gonna be on the top and then it'll be the uh, black and then it'll be the red uh, so that's what it looks like on here so our blacks inside there are red okay uh, so first thing we're gonna do is if we alt click on our USG white it's gonna select everything there and then we're just going to take our select and we're gonna go to grow um, it's always a little guessing game let's try by five and see how much that does which it does a little bit that might be enough now we're gonna to have to fill in some of this here with the black looking at that now that's got black and red so we kinda of want those triangles in there so that's pretty good so let's go ahead and black and we can just use our fill tool we're on our black layer not our white on our black layer fill it there we go okay now Again, I can look at that and see if they've got any red inside. They do see the real car again. So okay, it's always the thing. The real car has some red inside of these as well. Okay, so that's good. So let's go ahead and grow it again. We're gonna hit grow. Let's do it by another five, and then we're gonna select our red layer, and we want to use our red, and we've got our fill tool. And we're just going to go ahead and fill that. There we go. Now, the triangles, it's very hard to see. Very hard to see. But it looks like they did. Actually, that's blue gap in there. Yeah, there is. So, that we want to leave it alone. We don't want to fill them. So, let's go ahead and export. See how that looks. Yeah cool looks good um, so now it's too high see the the things supposed to butt right up to the cowl but with our added layers we're too high so we're gonna bring this whole thing down so let's uh, let's make a new layer group and we're gonna call this USG multicolor logo and we'll stick all these in here make sure when you do this stuff that you keep the order correct because if you start moving things around you can mess them up so keep that order correct okay and then we're just gonna select the whole thing we do want to crop it to content because we're gonna use this again so we're gonna click that and let's move it down by one two three four five six seven eight nine ten since we added five for the black and five for the red export 
and we're going to come down a little more too because we actually I think before it was probably over overriding it a little bit so one two three four yeah that looks good I'll go with that okay and then we've got a nice USG red black white logo and then what we need to do is we need to take that and we're going to have to put it over here on the side of the car. So let's go ahead and duplicate that multicolor logo. And we'll set it up here. And we're going to call it multicolor logo. Let's do the left side first. <clears throat> and we actually have to select all of these so we can move it all at once. Okay. And let's go ahead and make that a counterclockwise transform. So we've got that size. And let's see if we can figure out what the size of this is supposed to be. Be pretty tough from this angle. That one's not too bad. And this matters a little bit in that. Okay. So our white here is a gradient. We'll show you how to do a gradient here too. Be good. Um, so we're going to start with this side, and we're going to use this uh, sheet rock as our as our guide. So it looks like about the end of the E for this G, and about the beginning of the H, or so for the the U. Maybe maybe a little bit into the S. Let's get it. Try and get it close though. So scale this thing, and right now we're at. Let's go with half the size. Oh, that, not even close. All right. <laughs> Let's try it another half the size. Okay. And so, again, we're not going to be able to get this exactly perfect because of the way the, the body is. So let's try it. You know, it's like I said, it's kind of up a little bit. A little in line with that army. That's pretty good. Bring it over. Make sure we're still within the the car boundary. There we are. Okay. And then uh, before we do anything else, since we like this size, let's go ahead and duplicate this layer. Now we can take our chains off there, and then we'll drag that on down here. And we are going to. Rotate this thing 180 degrees. Okay, and this is going to be R. Okay, and then uh, see on this car, it's like touching it. And right here, it's a little lower. So you can kind of use some, you know, again, this is sort of a like what artistic uh, <laughs> license here to decide what you want to put, how, how you want to do that. Um, also, it's kind of in line with like the R of brand. We can't do that. It's, it's just not quite the same shape and everything. So we're just going to go with it like right there. We'll bring it down a couple. We'll have a little bit of spacing on ours. Although we could bring the whole thing a little forward. We actually could bring that forward some. So let's uh let's grab our sheet rock. Uh that's on the hood. We don't want that. Sheet rock R and let's bring that forward a little bit. So again it's kind of a little different than the, the Ken's of the car. Let's export that. Looks pretty good. Yeah, looks pretty good. And then on this side, I'd say, I mean, we could we could bring this in a little bit, although I just didn't think that it looked like that. Uh, based on it, it looks like that S is in the right, right spot for what it is. Sorry, I keep bumping the mic here. It's probably not very fun to listen to. So uh, then what we're going to do is we need to make the white in this gradient. And uh, 
let's see the best way to do this is we'll gradient it out to our blue so if you've never done gradients before it's not it's not super hard uh, we're gonna make a new layer so we cl click on our red layer and then we're gonna right click it and hit new layer and we're gonna call this white and it's gonna put a nice layer right on top and now let's go ahead and change this black to white and then let's get our red switched over to our blue all right and then we want to select the area that we want to make a gradient so let's just take a look here at this car so what we get is hmm So actually, the way we're going to do this is we're going to put our white layer underneath our red. And uh, that's how we'll do it. So because it'll be easier because of this. If it was just this, I was going to make this go on top of the red, but now I'm changing my mind. So let's go ahead and see so it goes it looks like it gradients basically all the way to our O1 here so let's start our thing there and then it it's all the way up does it go through the army it doesn't really and let's bring that up a bit Kind of like that. I think this should be something like that. Now, the top of this is going to be light, right in line with our red. So let's just bring it down there. We don't need it to go like way up there. <clears throat> okay. Um, and we'll be adjusting our red here in a little bit. Let's say this, like our... Our brand is a little long, I think. No, it's not. No. We could move this over a little bit. It's not going to affect us right now, but we got to think about that. All right, so we're set here. Uh, let's go ahead and take our white layer. Let's just move it under our red layer. And then if we right-click on our bucket, now we get gradient. And gradient works from your foreground color to your background color. This doesn't matter that much because even though we see it and it's like, well, wait, it's wrong. It's backwards. You can just flop it like that, and it's it's super super easy to to do. So that's easy. Now the other thing we need to figure out is where do we want our gradient to really start? Where does it should it kick in? You know, we need to, to figure all that out. And it should start to gradient back here a bit. So it is a little bit. We can, without doing anything, we can just export that and take a look and see what does it look like. Eh, it's not too bad. You know, I, I think maybe it should start to just fade a little bit more right there. So let's go to our gradient, which if you see up here you've got these different settings that you've got and we can click gradient and now we can adjust where that gradient starts to happen at so this is going to make it uh, different you know we can make it we can move it around a bit so uh, also we want to make sure we're on a linear you know, you can change these to be radial. You can do a, a bunch of different things with these. Bilinear. But let's make it linear. Um, okay. Yeah, there it wasn't moving before, but now you can see it moving. 
so we can make it you know mostly blue we can move it to the right and it starts white and then it fades out so that's kind of how you adjust that gradient to see where do you want it to start and end at and then you can move these around you know if you want it to to terminate earlier or go a little bit later the way it looks like to me let me get that as straight as I can you can kind of see that line once it gets really straight um, it, it's like it just starts to end like right at the very end but it does start to have a little bit of a a blue there like that so let's export that yeah yeah I, I think that's a little better a little bit closer okay Um, kind of wonder if that that red's a little too too tall there actually see it should be a lot closer on this side so this is fine we're going to click off of this and one thing I'll say about gradients is when you go back to adjust them it can be kind of tricky it gets a little bit harder because they're very opaque here or uh, translucent so if you go lay back on top of it with another it, it doesn't work great so you try to avoid that as much as possible you don't really want to be going back and, and messing with your gradient once you've laid it back out or you just kind of usually have to redo the whole thing if you colorize a gradient it'll almost always darken everything up more than you want so uh, try and be be pretty precise with what you do with that all right so that looks pretty good um, when I look at the real car part of what I'm, I'm looking at here is it's almost equal length of red to, to white so that's why I'm thinking that that maybe our reds but unfortunately we're kind of at the limit we might be able to take a pixel there uh, might be able to take a pixel off of it but if if you know now I put this white under it too so if I do that I gotta go to the white and take that off too but uh, yeah let's see see if that doesn't look weird if I do it I mean we're talking very small amounts here of course so that's it's pretty good though um, one thing we could do is we could move our army down just a little bit and that would let us extend that white but one thing we got to keep in mind is what does the back look like see the back didn't have it way down so where we are right now we're going to be kind of already a little a little questionably low here uh, we don't want to be too low so you know like it kind of wants you to almost be right here but we really can't because if we do it that high up you know we, we won't be able to match our ends but then it'll be way, really short on the side here so this is just one of those those again kind of interpretive things that we got to do here for the the car we're trying to fit it onto something that it wasn't originally on um, one thing we could do though that might help is we could we've got a little room we could move sheetrock up on each side and that'll give us a little bit more room and then we can actually cut the bottom of that keep the same basic distance so let's go ahead and do that so let's get that sheetrock sheetrock uh, left now when you one thing I did so when I moved this over I made it uh, size this, when you move this like a full size it's really slow to move so I like to crop it to content okay and then when I move it it just moves a little bit easier like that okay so let's go ahead and export that okay and then we can delete a little bit of that red off of there and that'll help extend our white I feel like our, our white's a little too low, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and take that red and cut that back a bit. 
And one thing I do is I want it to, hmm, let me see. Yeah, I could go a little, I could go like another couple pixels there. But I don't want it to have any of this showing underneath our red. I want it to, to make sure it gets cut off at the the quarter, at the, the wheel well there. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then honestly, I even bring that that up just a, a hair more, although we're going to start running into that, which I don't want to do. Um, although I could just... Hmm, Let's let's do this. Let's uh let's take that sheep rock brand and let's go ahead and let's just move it up two over four. See if that gets us a little clearance here. Yeah, it does. That's a little better, honestly. And it actually could come even a little bit more because we got to make this little design right here and it's going to be kind of already kind of pushing the boundary of what I'm looking for. I could even just sh shorten up that whole... It might just be shorter than it was on the, the Kenseth car. You know, it's, it's still tall, but it might just be a little shorter. Um, so let's, I'm not going to do a whole lot, but let's make it like 620. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Yeah, I think that's better. Honestly, we'll do the same thing on that side. We'll shorten that up. So down here. And then we're also going to bring that thing up a bit like we've got it on the other side. pretty good and then I'll probably end up cutting some of that bottom of that white off a little bit just so that it our only other alternative would be to make it angle with this and then try to make it straight across but I don't think that's gonna look right I'd rather not do that if I can avoid it so we'll try and just get it to where it's just maybe right at the top of that bumper. So we can cut off. Let's go down to our uh, white. We're going to cut off a few pixels. There we go. Export. Yep. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be a little better. It'll kind of go right across the back but it won't be hitting our Pontiac or anything like that okay so that looks pretty good um, yeah I don't want to go any shorter on the red unless I shorten the top of it at all maybe if I did anything it'd be on the top but I don't want to go too far there maybe just uh, just a little just I mean well, I really can't, though, because we're going to start getting to where it's not going to be a straight line across here. So that's about the shortest I can go there. So that's fine. All right, we'll call that good. Okay, uh, this side, though, we'll definitely be able to shorten up like that if we export that. Yeah, we could even go a little more on that one. Let's see if we export. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we'll bring sheetrock up just like a 
Just a skosh. Bring that up. One, two. Uh, and the other one. Let's bring that up. One, two. There. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. Okay. <clears throat> so. We're going to have to put a design in up here, but we're going to wait to do that. Let's go ahead and fill out this other side. And it's important because we're going to need to connect the two sides once they're done. So we need to figure out what the correct uh, look is for that. So let's go ahead and select our white layer again. And we're going to go again all the way in there. We don't want to be too low. We do need to take it up to the top of that red, though. Okay. We're going to go ahead and actually make it low, because we can always, we really always cut it off. There's, there's nothing to stop us there. So let's go ahead and grab our gradient again, and we'll just... I think that looks pretty close to the other side. Let's go ahead and export it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. <clears throat> so, then we've got a, you know, one thing is, eh, I think it, there's one thing I didn't like about it. One thing I didn't like about it. pretty good all right okay so now we know we'll cut some of this off so let's go ahead and export I just want to see where that ends up at so we know we're going to be really low for where we want to be so we're definitely going to want to bring that up we're also going to want to probably bring the army on that side down a little bit so it's not too close to it um, not too bad really all things considered all right so let's go ahead and let's just chop off where does it go on there we can see it I think so on this particular car it's going oh well, this one's different. <laughs> See, it goes through it here. This one looks like it stops at the USG, but right, but right, like there, and then actually the USG logo is gonna come up a little bit because we we changed that. So let's let's go with that. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Yeah, and that looks like it'll be pretty even between those two sides. So on the back is purely white, um, and the reason I kept this picture because we can see it has the Go Army in in black. It looks like. And it's just like on the regular army car, it kind of stretched across the tail lights a little bit. It's a little bit too large there for this particular car, but let's go ahead and head on up because that is all the way up at the top. Um, oh, it's above the Grand Prix. There we go. 
Let's go ahead and scale that to be yeah, 450. Uh, maybe just a, a hair smaller, 420. No, actually, let's make it uh, 435. It kind of overlaps on the tail light on this side a little bit. You can see it. But then here it doesn't. Oh, and our USG, yeah, we'll get that in a little bit when we do our tail light numbers. Okay, so let's export that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, so now what we're, the whole point of this is we want to connect here over to here. And you'd think, oh, just make a straight line. Well, the back of this car is not straight, so you can't. So we're going to break out for the first time today our paths tool. So let's grab that. And then let's go select our white layer. And uh, two interesting things happen on the back of this bumper. One is if I pull up the wire, you'll notice that it actually curves right here. So sometimes you're trying to make something right on that end of the bumper. You kind of got to account for this. We may not have to account for it because we're going to be a little low, but just something to kind of point out that that happens. Okay. And then um, let's go ahead and just do a... So, so if you're stuck over here, like it's not where you want, if you double-click your tool, it'll pull up the normal stuff. So... Um, And one thing we could actually do, honestly, is we could do it like that, and then we could hit fill. That puts that whole thing in there. So let's see what that looks like. Um, of course, we're filling in the wrong direction. <laughs> we, we need to go up, not down. Uh, but we're a little a little off anyway, so let's uh, let's undo everything we did there. Uh, we can we can just take this up like this, but uh, it looks like it's pretty good side to side. So let's just bring it up. We're gonna bring it up to like right at that white line. And we want to turn off our wire every time we do this because oh we went a little high a little high okay so undo it let's bring it back down Okay, a little further. Maybe we're getting thrown off by the... Uh... The fact that it filled down instead of up, I don't know. Close, very close. Okay. Okay, export. Oh man. Okay, so I'd say that one's on, but this one is just a little off yet. So let's go ahead and undo. And we are going to make sure we close that side up. And then we're just going to come down just a, a hair. Fill that. And well, we're, we're one pixel off, just one. Hmm. Um, let's 
actually. So what it's doing there. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Undo, undo, undo. So where we had it is where we're going with it. Because the thing is it wants to make it kind of an anti-aliased look. So that's always a problem right here you just have to deal with. Uh, just the way that that kind of occurs. Uh, there is something we could try to do is, is well, well, let's try it. Um, so let's turn on our our wire here. And what we'll do is we're going to go to about right here. And we'll down. Then we'll actually add a thing here and we'll make a curve. So you kind of got to deal with this unfortunate thing that's going on here. So let's see if that Yeah, it's a little bit. Oh. Let's do it like that. Ooh, no. Not good. So we're really messing around here <laughs> trying to make something perfect um, turn on that wire hmm. yeah just not really getting it there seems to be either oh all right that might be as good as we're gonna get it right there okay and that is definitely sweating the details here but I'd say that looks pretty good uh, okay so obviously we did not um, quite finish up our army thing and the only thing I was trying to figure out there is if it was black or, or blue but I think we're gonna probably not get a very good determination on that other than you know we have it black here so let's just assume that it's, it's black so uh, we can just invert and export there we go okay so that looks pretty good and then we need to make our white layer down here uh, and it gradients the same way as the other part of the car so let's go ahead and do that so let's go back to our white layer and once again we're gonna select just even with this red. we're actually gonna go a little far with it Give us lots of room when we make our our uh, you know we've got those little like cutouts to make. Looks like they start all the way at the beginning of the contingencies there, and then on this side, yeah, but so we need to make sure we've got it at least yeah not far enough in fact. So we want to go at least right there and say. Um, so let's go ahead and then grab our gradient tool. Uh, I actually want to hide well I don't need to. What we're going to do is we're going to take from here to here. Okay. We want to make sure though, the key to this is we want to make sure that our white's pretty solidly white until we get to that point. Yeah, like that. Back up just a bit. That looks pretty good. 
uh, one thing though, unfortunately, we've we've screwed up. So we need to make this taller. We did not account for the fact that we've got a slope there, so let's try it again. Okay, and this time a little more blue. A little more bluish to it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, now we can just take this because it should be the same size on both sides. So you just copy it, paste it, and drag it. It's kind of the same deal here. Just to make sure we've got plenty to work with. There we go. Looking good. Okay. And then uh, let's export that. Just check it out. Great. All right. And then what we need to do here is <clears throat> really isn't going to be too hard to do this, honestly. It's going to be pretty easy, I think. Um, and we can do it. We, we can do this a couple different ways. We could we could make it white here and do a white on the front. It wouldn't be a problem. Or we could do it on the red and then copy it over and try and move it there, but We'll see. I'm not sure about that. And then just make it white underneath. So we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll kind of have a play with that. It's really going to depend on how close these are to each other. Um, if they're really close, we can copy it. If we, if we don't think it's like that, we'll have to make different ones. So not a big deal. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually we're actually going to cut our red off right at, I'd say right at kind of through that middle of that jessel. So let's select our red right about there. And then the way this is going to work should be hmm it might I'm going to put it on a new layer called R2. Uh because if I do decide to copy paste it, it'll be easier if I do it this way. So let's get our paths going. And just looking close at this again. So what you can see is it goes straight out, then back. And it's got a curve. We gotta count for those little curves there. Because if we don't, they'll be pointed and we don't want points so we'll have to account for that. And in fact, because of that, we're going to, before we get started, we want to have, um, let's do it this way. Let's add a couple guides. Let's add a, a vertical guide. In fact, two of them. Uh, we'll get this set into place first. All right, a vertical guide, another vertical guide. This is where guides get helpful for something like this. We're just trying to make sure it's really even looking. And then we want a couple of horizontal guides. Um, this is horizontal. We've already got one. Perfect. Okay. This should be enough for what I'm doing. All right. So we know we're starting here. And then we're going to go uh, 
actually we're going to pull this forward just a little bit. All right. And how many fingers are there? So there's one, two, three, four, five. That's just, <laughs> it's got to cut up. So, uh, how tall is this? So you can actually measure with your, your rectangle tool. And how you do that is you've got size here. So I could start here and I can go down to the bottom and I could figure out my height. So 66. Um, also 60 divided by 5 would be 12 pixels in between. So we'll call it 13 pixels between each fingertip, I guess. Uh, and if each fingertip is itself uh, 13 pixels, I guess. Right? Well, I'll have to think about this. One, two, three. Let's see if, if that would make sense. I think that we might be wrong here. Because we got to account for the, the... That would be kind of the center line of each one. So let's so it's half of thirteen. Well, let's, let's just do it at let's just do it at seven pixels. Okay. Um, ooh, I've got a way we can do this. All right, so let's grab our pencil and make it one pixel. This is not exactly working the way I think it's going to work. Well, we're not going to be able to measure this out quite that way. Because um, if I go there... Because these aren't, like... I mean, it's kind of equidistant, but... So, if we had 12, 24... 36, that's, and then 48. So really, what if we do 15? So 15, 30, 45, 60. So that's not right either. Yeah, so it's like 13 or 14. Okay, so we'll just go 13 from the top of that to the top of that to the top of that. Okay. Uh, so. That's 13. So what we'll do is this. We're going we're gonna to make a dot on each of these. Okay. And we're going to copy it. And we'll paste. Uh. Paste, 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 and it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, it's going to be six, right? One, two, three, four, there should be five. Okay, so let's make... <laughs> We're going to extend this by by a little bit. So we're going to make it, uh, let's do it here. I know it seems silly to be so exacting with this, but at the same time, you kind of, it's kind of important. Okay, so that gives us one, two, three, four, five, and then kind of going into six. 
There should really be four, though, going into five. So it should really be four going into five, which means if I do 15, 30, 45, 60, it would be correct. That's how I should have done it. Okay, so that was 13. 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we'll, like, we'll do it like this. Okay. All right. And then back here. Trying to decide. Weird. If I do it like that. turn off our contingencies for a minute so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so let's start with our paths tool. And we are going to start uh, yeah, we're going to start Now let's start back here a little bit. It's a straight line. You know what? <laughs> I have to do it like I did this. Each one's going to get a little bit of a curvature to it. And we'll just take it on down there. Okay, that'll be fine. All right, and then we need to... Just make this kind of even. making these kind of little finger ends here. We're 
we're going to have to probably adjust this a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and move this and decide we want that to be about there. Get our paths back in place. actually open this and we're just going to do it like that all right but before we do anything else I'm gonna get rid of our dots well I'm not I'm not gonna get rid of our dots I'm going to make this on the red layer It'll be fine so let's go ahead and uh, paths, fill path. Okay. Oh, that looks pretty good. But we've got some weirdness going on. And I don't know why. I do know why. I do know why, because that's the whole reason why I was going to put it on that other one or delete those. Now, export. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I, I think that looks pretty, pretty accurate. Pretty good. So, um, one, two, three, four, going into five, although our five one probably could stand to be a little lower, but <clears throat> again, you got to remember we're working with a, a slightly different angle of attack on things and whatnot, so it's not going to be, is it worth trying to adjust everything so that that fits in some sort of fashion. I don't know. Uh, we could do one thing, though. So if we wanted to, to move it around, we could... We could just bring them all down like that. Oop. I added one in there. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. And the reason why this would work at all. And and what we could do see if we move everything down together. Like that. This one I want to leave. We moved it all like that. But it definitely makes it to where that looks weird. So I say, no, we're not doing it. Just fill it how it was. Export it. Because it looks the best like that. 
And if anything, what we could do is just fill that bottom one in to be a little bit bigger. So if we like took our paintbrush and we just, that's huge. Just kind of fill it down a bit. Because you really can't tell with that one up there, like how tall that is, per se. You know, it's kind of cut off, so. Either way, I guess it's a little bit better just because it's kind of like. Eh, I don't know. I don't like it. Just leave it how it was. It's fine. That's not something that we should be getting overly concerned about. All right, so then what we can do is we'll take that. We'll copy, paste our lines. Um, and that's going to be on the left. And we're going to drag it on up there. And we've got this kind of tail there, so we want to uh, flip the thing vertically. All right, and let's go ahead and take our red here, and we're going to uh, delete it there. Let's turn our contingencies back on. Okay, and then this. Kind of lines up right around, yeah, that's fine, right around Jessel. Okay, and an export. Cool, looks good. <coughs> Will this work up here? I don't know. We're going to find out. Because it's the same thing up there, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> kind of, kind of, sort of. We'll see. Let, let's try it at least. Uh, duplicate. Ooh, it's really close. It's really close. All right, so let's go ahead to our red, and we're going to where do we want to start it from? Right at the end of like brand. Okay. And we'll grab that guy. Okay. So you'd sit here and go, oh, well, it doesn't work. That's too bad. But we're not done yet. Crop back to content. Uh, let's go ahead and scale it up. Let's make the height. Well. <coughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to kind of guess how to make the height 100. Ooh, that's really close. Okay, and in fact, I would even go so far as to say we can just like that. Export. That's pretty cool. Only thing is it doesn't... <laughs> okay, it actually stops before the tail light. So that part will kind of mess with us. It's going to mess with my, my idea there, but that's okay. We can still fix that. Uh, we can take our... Let's see if we can fix it with the paintbrush. Uh, here, we can actually erase along there a little bit. And then we'll take our paintbrush and just try to... Uh, let 
see if we can okay I like where this is going and another fill there looks pretty decent let's export it Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay, so now let's try and take this and we'll duplicate this. And we'll drag it on down to the other side. And we can flip it vertically too, just to be consistent. Okay. Okay, and then let's go ahead and can't tell, am I going to be able to see where that happens on this side? Kind of before the S, so let's see if we take that. Hmm. Yeah, see, I kind of, oops, don't delete that. Delete off the red. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's see if we can just move that sheetrock forward a little bit. Like that. Uh, again with this so this is um, a bit of a well actually it won't be a problem we'll, what we'll do is we'll take we'll take this and we'll just bring it down like that and on this side layer the image uh, so we can take our paintbrush like that and here let's try to cut, paste, we'll move it up by one, and then we'll fill that in with the dark red, um, and that and like that and then pretty good pretty good okay and now we need to get the front set with it with the lines there I have no idea what's on the deck lid of this car I just don't know oh USG well you know we're gonna assume that they weren't lying to us and it's got USG on there I can deal with that all right, so we once again are going to need. I'm going to take the original one here. Duplicate that. And let's see if we move this one up. Let's go ahead and layer, transform, rotate 180. You know, it's going to be a little shorter here. That may not matter so much. It should be the same, but, you know, it's not going to be. One, two, three, four, and it's really cut off, so... 
that's fine I think um, where does it it's about at the fog light on that side little little bit before the fog light on this side so it's pretty far inboard really so let's go right there and then let's just delete our red okay Right there is fine. We'll fill that in. If I can see my fill bucket, you can tell it's getting late. I can't find my fill bucket. Oh, because I've got it set to gradient. It's only downside. Only downside is when you're looking for something and it's not there because it's been replaced with something else that you didn't expect. All right, let's duplicate this layer. Let's uh, flip it horizontal, and then let's drag it on over here. And then this one's like, you know, we're going to just go a little bit before the fog light here as well, because I think it needs to just be symmetrical, otherwise it's going to look weird or something. So let's go ahead and get rid of the... Uh, red here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So then we're going to go to our white layer. And let's just go ahead and select our white. And it doesn't gradient or anything here, so it's basically just select and fill. Okay, and then same thing over here. Select and fill. Let's go ahead and export and see what we get. Definitely reaching a little further on this side. Um, which I think it should. Uh, this side is a little more correct, I think, for what I... Or is that uh, maybe a little too much? They both need to move. This one needs to come a little towards the fight. This one a few pixels away. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, let's move the whole thing. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, which one are you? This one right here. All right. So let's go ahead and take this, and we're just gonna one, two, three to the left. And then we can fill that red back in. Shoot. <laughs> I'm not sure which one it is. Well, probably the last one, but let's just eyedropper and fill. Okay. And then on this side, we want to go a little bit to the left. Okay, so that shortened that up a little bit. Should have lengthened that up. I just feel like it didn't move it very much. Okay. Okay, export. I guess it shouldn't have moved it that much. I didn't hardly move it, but that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. If we need to go any further with it. It doesn't look like, well, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe we should just move it just a little more. Okay, and this one. But I can't seem to. Hmm. 
Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, and then actually there, there's one more to do, which is on the front of the car right there. And it appears that it just is into the blue. There's nothing around it. So we're going to duplicate this layer one more time. And let's grab it and bring it on down. And we're going to layer, transform it, and counter. Uh, this one. Cut that right there. Should be a little more symmetrical, I guess, but it's really not going to be. Although we could maybe the middle look a little weird but not too bad honestly I think that's okay all right so crop that to content we're gonna make this pretty small I think so we'll see if it's acceptable so ah, don't do that we need to know we're going to actually go up. This is going to be part of the decal. So this one is a width of 48. And how far out does it stick from the USG? It's not very far. It's basically two there. like that except no <laughs> like that hmm That's not bad. <laughs> Undo. Ah! Man, I am misclicking like crazy right now. That looks pretty good. That is definitely passable. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, that's passable. Um, should it be longer than the? Let's see. I think it's a little longer. That's the only problem. It's still like it's like a little too long. <sighs> so if I take this and I start shortening it like that yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good all right then here we're gonna have to make that an angled cut okay so easiest way to do that is we'll grab that red and we'll take our eraser 
and we'll just kind of chop this corner off like that. You might say, well, that looks like crap because it's all jaggy, which is absolutely right. But we're just going to put it back with the paintbrush. Like that. And the only thing is, it's not quite. There we go. Export. I wonder if it would look better if it followed that line. Like that. It's like following the headline right there. Which is sort of just again we're gonna take a little artistic license with something like that because it just might look better. Yeah, I think it does. All right, that looks pretty good. This car is looking really pretty good. All right, let's get our USG copied for the trunk. Deck lid, rather. So let's find that multicolor logo. That's the small one. We don't want that. We want this one. Duplicate. And we'll put it for deck lid. Okay, and we'll grab our thing here. Transform, rotate 180. And I'm going to say width 250. Too high, too much. So we're going to make it 200. Let's export that, see how that looks. Not quite centered. Kind of want that S to be right in line with that. There we go. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. <coughs> and uh, they kept Jerry Nadu on this car uh, all the time because he got hurt. So the only thing we are missing is our army logo, which is here. It's a lot bigger here. It's on the side. It's always in front of it. So let's see if we can find that army. Now, we can look at our... No, we didn't have it here, did we? Shoot, okay. Uh, so let's see in our our Jerry Nadu logos. There it is. Open with GIMP. Let's see if it's nice. And of course, it's going to be a pain in the ass because we got to get rid of all the white around it. Which it doesn't want to let me do for some reason. Alright, copy and. Paste it right there. Yes, Army Small Logo R. And we're gonna, we're actually, so this is something else. If you do this, you can just drag it all the way to the top. It gives it above everything, and then you can work with it. Because we need to get rid of all this white outlining. Uh, and we can get rid of that too because I don't think that's there. I think they stuck the little trademark on on the army logo like that. Drop to content. OK. 
okay and then we will scale this sucker down to I don't know 200 height which is way too big but it's closer all right so let's go ahead and scale this thing down to 80 we know it's bigger than Valvoline And Valvoline looks like it's right at the bottom. Yeah, it is. Right at the bottom corner. And then the army thing is like twice the size. So that's pretty close. Let's go ahead and scale it down to, well, what size is the Valvoline? Let's put it right above Valvoline. find it if we can find it there we go right rear contigs okay great um, turn that off so Valvoline is a height of 37 which my crappy math says is 74 doubled up so Let's go ahead and say 74. Okay, so now it's perfectly double the height. And let's duplicate that layer. We'll drag it on up here. And we are going to cause it to rotate 180. Put that down there. Uh, and this needs to go into left rear contigs. Let's export it. All right, looks pretty good. Uh, I'll space that out. It's like too close. Well, how close was it? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's got a little space, so not not crazy. Like right on top of it, just a little space. That's good. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the. Window that looks okay. Looks like it does kind of stop there. Yeah, yeah, and then it's actually like black. So let's go to the the windows there. And let's go ahead and make those black. I think I thought I had a. Oh, it's on this. We can drag it out of here. Window frame black. There we go. Export. Yeah. I think that looks better. Okay. Cool. Um, we've got USG here. I feel like, oh, we're missing our taillights. And our headlights and our numbers are all jacked up. So O1 needs to be made corrected to that. And our Goodyear, that's the other thing. Which, we've got some Goodyear logos we could steal from this. I think it's hmm. Actually, where did I put it on this thing? Well, we can find it. Oh, I see. Okay, weird. All right. Let's just take that on over. Uh, we need to select something that's a full. Okay. And we're going to 
head that up with uh, that doesn't matter somewhere up there and let's get rid of our Goodyear oh no nah, that's no good all right but it doesn't matter actually all I really need is the color well, it's different between these two but whatever all right so turn that color let's go ahead and colorize export oh, that looks good that looks really good okay um, what else are we needing uh, USG and the numbers on templates that's right okay so we use this one it's the right slant so let's find our numbers I need to start closing this stuff down so I can see what I'm doing. Decals. Okay. Left. So let's duplicate this. And then uh, we are going to actually merge that layer group. It just makes it a little easier for something like this once I know I'm done. Transform, rotate 180, and then we can scale it and the width to... 190 put it on top of there this one might want to make a little smaller make it 180 okay and pit box turn that off all right now let's duplicate this layer and we're gonna drag it on up here oh what did i just oh my gosh that was a disaster Drag, drag it on up here. Okay. All right, these things are going to be all kinds of in our way now. Okay, and let's head that on up to our these ones here. And the size of this is fifty. Cool. stick it right on top of there and we can just delete it now we're going to duplicate this drag it on over and we're going to arbitrarily rotate it to be about the same and then this one of 55 okay stick it right on top of there delete all right and export once again beautiful all right and we have We've got something behind that. What is that? We have something on that should not be. Oh. supposed to be there <laughs> kind of a weird thing going on there still huh okay 
some some sloppy work by me, I guess. Very much feel some shame about that. Assume that's not visible. It's not. Okay. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, and the spoiler is blue, not black. So if we just turn the spoiler off, what are we going to get? Oh, we get this general tire. God, ugh. Uh... Where is that even located? Car decal. Find the car decal. Yeah, we could just delete that right off of there. And they've locked it. Thank you. Oh, uh, <laughs> really? Why? You know what? I'm wasting my time. Should have just undo everything you did. Find the spoiler layer. And we'll just make it blue. <laughs> uh, being foolish here. Export. There we go. Piece of black tape in the middle of it. Yeah, it's kind of a yeah. It's fine. That's that's okay. Doesn't hurt anything. Okay. Anything else that we need for this little car to be done? But I don't think so. I think it is done. So there you are. We are gonna call this a video. Once again, we'll throw this up on Trading Paints. If you uh, liked what you saw today, please hit a like and a subscribe. Um, hope to keep doing these. Uh, hopefully you're learning something. If you have questions or comments, sure, sure to comment below. Um, but yeah, another one in the books. So we'll get this thing loaded in. Uh, hopefully we'll do some, one with a spec map soon. I've got an idea for a car we can do. Uh, break away from the 2003 stuff for a little bit so uh, but that'll be coming up uh, just noticed something I but before I before I leave uh, we need to correct this look the roof rails and the shark fin are black well the roof rails are not in this car they're blue but the shark fin is definitely black and I thought we had a, a thing for that I, I know I've got one on this, so we can copy it over. Um, see if I can find it here. Where do we put that? Cow blackout. Do, do, do. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I actually just put it in the... That's part of the black layer on this car. I sure did. Okay, fine. Well, it's easy enough. We'll just do it on the black layer for this. Even though it should have a... It's probably in this, actually in this Dodge. Do, do, do. Window blackout. Shark fin, there it is. That should be black. Let's pull it out of this. Okay. Save this thing. And export it. There we go. Fix that too. Alright, looking really good now. 
Okay, so uh, anyway, like I said, we're going to call this a video. I uh, appreciate you watching. Hopefully you had fun. Uh, and we will see you on the next one. Bye.